guys, so I'm back with another style for the Big Flat Twist series, and I never mentioned how long the series will be going on for. I'm doing 20 styles for the series. Now, for the products that I use for this series is some Oars Curls Unleashed Curl Defining Cream. I use some Grapeseed Oil, and also I use some Curly Twirl Spritz Styling Serum. And for the front part of my hair, I use some As I Am Twisting Defining Cream. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video and the style, and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Starting with freshly stretched washed hair. I'm going to start my first part right above my ear. This part will be curvy and wavy. And here's how it look. Now for my second part, I'm going to start this part on my left, about two inches away from my ear. This part will curve around and have a little dip in it. And it's going to end right at the beginning of the first part that I did. And here's how it look. Now I'm not quite done with this section. I'm going to split it in half. And I am going to still stay on the left side but start at the right top corner. This part will be curvy and also have a dip in it. And here's how it look. Now for the middle section, I'm going for a half of a piece of pie look. But I'm not starting the point in the middle. I'm starting on the side. Which means most of the parts in the middle will be slanted. So in order for me to get the piece of pie look, I'm beginning each part at the point. This did take me some time because you want all of the sections to be the same size. And after all of the part and I was left with nine sections, one in the front, six in the middle, and two in the back. 
prepping for my first flat twist i want to first do some detangling and then i want to add some rose curls unleashed curl defining cream and then on top of that some curly twirl spritz styling serum and then to seal that in i'm going to add some grapeseed oil I'm starting the flat twist at the right top corner and doing the flat twist going towards my face. I'm also adding product as I go and as I go I'm flat twisting exactly the way the part is going. And since I split this section into two, the top section will be done the same way. Now for the middle section, I'm doing all of these flat twists going towards my left and I'm making sure that I'm staying in the middle of the section. I also added the same products and I'm flat twisting going upward. Once I'm finished with the middle, I'm going to jump right to the front section, which is the last section. I'm going to be doing a bunch of two strand twists. I'm using Twist and Define and Clean by As I Am. And I'm using a different product because as I mentioned in the previous video, this is the only product that gives me good definition.
So I'm all done and here's how it looks. I'm going to put my satin scarf on and I will see you guys in the morning. So I'm wide awake. I'm going to take the satin scarf off and show you guys what it looked like. Starting with the middle section first, I'm going to grab two flat twists and twist it a few times. And then I'm going to grab another flat twist and twist it a couple of times. And I'm going to continue the same process until I run out of flat twists. Once I get to the end, I'm going to pin it down. And once I pin it down, I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. Now for the two strand twists, I'm going to take the back row and turn them into rings. I'm using about two to three bobby pins for each ring. And I want the rings to be somewhat close together. Going back to that middle section, I'm going to turn these into rings as well. And then I'm going to unravel the rest of the two strand twist that's left out. After unraveling, I'm going to grab part of this section and give it a little twist. And then I'm going to turn it into somewhat kind of like a ring, but not quite. Once I get it where I like it, I'm going to pin it down. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to the rest of the hair that's hanging out. I'm going to swoop it up like a ring. And if I like where it's at, I'm going to pin it in that spot. And once I'm done pinning, I'm going to look for anything that needs to be fixed. I did notice one flat twist still hanging in the back, so I am going to add it to the middle section.
And after all that, here's the final result. So I am back guys. I hope you enjoyed the style as well as the video. If you want to watch more, please click the link on the top. And if you want to see what's coming up next, you want to hit that subscribe button to see new videos every week. So I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, goodbye.